Good morning. It's Wednesday, 10 o'clock, and here we are at the gathering. Let's start with a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for gathering us again together to contemplate and think about who you are and who we are and about how you make us not only who we are, but you call us to be far more than just ourselves, but extensions of you. Bless us this morning with not only your word, but your spirit. Amen. The scripture that came to mind this morning as I was contemplating this Normally on this Wednesday would be Deacon Gregory. He could not be here today. He had a commitment that he could not get out of. You will see him in two weeks. And I, but it gave me a chance to talk to you about one of my favorite scriptures, but also one that challenges me. And I think it should challenge you too. It's a very simple scripture it's only three verses and it's at the beginning of the book of Matthew uh, well, it's Matthew chapter 5 uh, the what we call or what is often referred to as the Sermon on the Mount and Jesus talks to them in some very terms which just really catches their attention because he talks about blessed are you and what we call the Beatitudes and in those, he says, blessed are you if you're poor in spirit. Blessed are you if, if, if you're hurting. You know, and we say, say what? What does that mean? And Jesus, if we think about it and really examine it, we begin to understand what Jesus is getting to. And I encourage you to read that first 12 verses of Matthew 5. But then he goes into Matthew 13, and I think he draws it together with Matthew 13. So here, when I read, let me tell you why you are here. You're here to be salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. But if you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? And then he goes on to say in the next one, here's another way to put it. You're here to be light, bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. We're going public with this, as public as the city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now that I've put you on a hilltop, a light stand, shine. Keep open house. Be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. I like the way he opens it. Let me tell you why you're here. Have you ever wondered why you're here? I know I have at times. Why am I here? What is my purpose? Why, why am I uh, here with all of the experiences that are behind me, all the things that I've done, both good, bad, and indifferent, all those things which make me, me? Why am I here with my uniquenesses, with those things which uh, some are good, some are eh, but God made me. And who I am, according to this, is good in the sight of God and special. You're special. You've got gifts, you've got experiences, you've got things that make you special. But here's the key why you're here with all of those things that make you special 
is to be witnesses to the person or the, the being who made you special. And according to this, that person is God. You're here to be the salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. Salt in itself really doesn't have a flavor. But if you put salt on food, it brings out the subtle flavors that you might miss if they weren't there, if, if, if salt wasn't there. What Jesus is saying in this passage is, you were created to be a person who, by your life and by your words and by your love and by your grace and by your helping other people and by you being you, can show other people things they've never thought of or didn't see before. You know, sometimes we don't know what to what what the world looks like outside of our own small perspective. I mean, I grew up in Southern California. I grew up in semi-arid areas where, you know, we sagebrush and uh, you know, just nothing around, very little around. If man didn't plant it, it wasn't there. And yet, I remember growing up and walking into the canyons and walking through the canyons and through the areas where there wasn't any building, and there was very few of those areas left. I remember being intensely bombarded by the smells of the sage by the smells of the weeds around me. And I used to spend hours in those canyons. And it was hours just walking, exploring, smelling, looking, seeing things that may have escaped my attention the last time I was in that canyon. God wants you to see the beauty that he has given all around you and then open yourself to making helping others to see it as well I had the experience this last week well actually the first week of October I happened to be driving across the state of New Hampshire it's a short drive it's a small state but we spent a couple hours driving across the state of New Hampshire and I happened to hit it just at the right time. Whereas I looked around me, I saw vistas of green, of gold, of red, of orange, of purple. Every color you can imagine was reflected in the foliage of the trees all around me and off into the distance. And all I could think of God, you created this, and here I am, seeing it. How often we have the opportunity to share with others the beauty of God's earth and the beauty of what God can do in each of us. I think when Jesus said to the people he was talking to. And I want you to remember, the people he was talking to were just people. They weren't hyper-religious people. They were just people. Jesus said, listen, here's why you're here. Here's why you're here, to help others see that God is at work that God is at work every day in the world around you, that God will show you things that you can't even imagine in, the, in your mind if you simply open your eyes and look. God has things he wants to do through you, where you are. He wants you to be salt. He wants you to help others taste 
what God can do. He wants you to be light. He wants you to show others the colors of God that they might not be seen. If you just are within yourself and never share what God has done in your life, and it may be just simple things, or share about the beauty you see around you, share about the beauty you see in people around you, others will begin to see it too. And it'll change your life and theirs. Here's why you're here. It says, you're here to be salty. To open up the flavors of the earth. To those who aren't tasting them. You're here to be light. To bring out the colors of the earth. To those who whose eyes are darkened by fear or by hopelessness. That's why you're here. All of us are called to be people who are both salt and light to those around us. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you show us things that if we open our eyes, we see and are just amazed. Lord, open us up to look around us, to see the trees, to see the mountains. Open us, us, open us up to see the beauty and the quirkiness of the people around us. Open us up to laugh and enjoy each other. Because when we do that, we find ourselves becoming salt and light and changing our world. Amen. Hey, God bless you. And I'll see you next week. Looking forward to it.